Okay, it's going to be the first half of a beer kit uh, review that I've purchased from the maltmiller.co.uk um, just before Christmas after doing the Galaxy Delight. Someone suggested on my channel that I should pick up the Belgian Blonde kit, so that's exactly what I've done. Um, I'm going to show you what you get in the kit and then what I'll probably do is what I did in my videos where I film some brew footage, I'll put that in a separate video and then I'll cut to a, a tasting at the end of this video and then you can basically watch you know, what you get in the kit, the tasting and if you want to see the brew footage that will be on a separate video and I'll probably intend to do it as a full volume brew in a bag as well either on my stove, possibly even on, a, on an induction hob in the, uh, the new brew tech kettle but we'll, we'll cut to that another time so initially you get your grain which is a big old bag it's just over five kilos about five and a half you get in five kilos of pills and malt uh, 227 grams of aromatic malt uh, 227 grams of wheat malt um, you also get 680 grams of Belgian candy sugar and I'll just put that down you get Halatawa Mittel Fruit, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, you use about, I think it's 83 grams of them for a, for a 90 minute boil. And a T58 yeast. Um, it's a 90 minute boil with approximate gravity, starting gravity of 10.65. So um, that's pretty much it for the start. Right, it's finally time to taste test the uh, Walt Miller Belgian Blonde kit that I brewed up. Um, I don't believe I got any real good footage of me actually brewing it up in the end, but I did a brew in a bag, uh, full mash, um, just added the candy sugar at the end in the last 15 minutes, and that was pretty much it. It's been a while since I've actually brewed this and bottled it before I've um, come to film it, purely because I carbonation issues and it didn't seem to have very good carbonation but um, it seems to have got a little bit better let's try and get this cork out if it's going to come I'm going to put it in a glass that gives it quite a quite a big head because I've been putting in some other glasses that are, haven't got the etchings on the bottom and it's it's not been as great as it should have been. I think the carbonation's getting there and the, the taste is a lot better now I've left it. I think it's probably a good I think I brewed this up just after Christmas, I think I can't can't remember enough to check back but again it always looks really dark on this camera but it's it's crystal clear, it's like a almost like a lager colour, it's really see-through, really fizzy now, got a fantastic head on it. Mm. Very fizzy. It smells kind of, a little bit of sweetness on the nose, kind of quite farmhouse-y type. Right, I'm gonna, gonna dive in. Lovely. As good as any um, Belgian beer you can get in the shop. Far surpasses the, um, the brew firm kits that I've brewed in the past. Got a nice amount of sweetness up front, and then leaves with a nice sort of clean, dry finish, which just pulls you back in for more. Um, you get a little bit of the the alcohol note like you do in some of the Belgian beers, but not overly strong. It's not it's not kicking you in the face saying that this is full of alcohol. It's about six and a half percent. This came out, um, but I had a couple of bottles the other night, and you wouldn't know it was six and a half percent. It's, I don't know, the taste is like masked well, or you just, and before you know it, you could, you know, you can get silly on a on a few bottles of this. That's why I bottled a few in the uh, reused the Leffy bottles, and um, it also looks better when it's in that, and you give someone, you know, the corked and the cage bottles. But it's it's a fantastic beer. 
I think you definitely got to leave it a good maybe eight weeks for this one. It just just wasn't ready in the first few weeks, and it didn't taste bad, but it just needed more time. But now it's got really, really good. Very, very good. Very clean tasting. There's no off flavours in it at all. I think I brewed this just at the right time. Um, I didn't brew it under temperature control when the, I did it in the flat when the temperatures are quite stable, but it's produced a lovely beer. And you can, I think you can sort of see how clear it is. Let me hold a little bit of sat behind it. It is very, very straw, sort of pale colour. A lot lighter in the in the flesh than it's shown there. Can't recommend it enough. So the Belgian blonde kit from the Malt Miller. Be sure to check it out. Cheers.